Let's show you why holding the club halfway down and trying to hit yourself with it is helping so many golfers improve their ball, then turf strikes and get rid of those horrible fats and fins. Also, this drill does work with a driver as well. If you do it with a driver and the ball positions forward, it'll help you get iron and driver more energy onto the ball without you feeling like you're swinging fast. So let me explain what we're gonna try and achieve. Lots of amateurs, when they hit the ball, are simply not getting their energies on the ball because they're still too busy moving, turning and rotating into the ball. For you to fire the club, we need other parts of you to have already fired and to actually be stalling. So if I was gonna throw this club forward this way, give it the kind of helicopter, but not on its side, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to pull this handle back and towards me to let that bit fly out as I let it go. I'm trying to get this end to come back and almost stop to throw the energy out into that end. And it's the same with your golf swing. We need hips, shoulders, hands firing and then stalling to let all that energy fly out to the club. But we've let so many amateurs not doing that, still moving. They're not stalling till after the ball, the ball's gone. They've got no loss of energy. They're putting it in, they're just not getting it out. Let's fix that simple drill. Hold the club, I've got an eight iron here, in the middle, right in the middle, both hands, and where you are parallel to the ground with the club. And what you're gonna try and do is get the grip end to wallop your lead side. Yeah, you need to hit yourself with the club. And what I love about this action, it's good at the range, it's good on the tee before you hit shots, and you can do it in your office at home, any of those ideas. So we're really trying to get, so my hands are opposite my trail leg, I'm in golf posture, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get this to hit my side. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna make sure I'm tilting this way. Yeah, tilting this way. I'll show you what this means in a second. Then I'm gonna try and make sure that I'm rotating. See how that's bringing that club in? Then I'm gonna make sure my hands fire. And all those three movements together, are gonna allow you to really start posting up on lead leg, allow you to throw that energy out to the club. Now, what we see a lot from amateurs is we see them sliding, rotating, shoulders quite level, which is why we see these kind of impacts where this is nowhere near hitting them. Chicken wing ideas, messy impacts, putting loads of energy in. How many of your mates do you think and people you play with, you see them swing, there's lots of flailing parts, there's lots of movements, there's lots of energy. The ball doesn't seem to go anywhere. And it's because everything's moving quick. They're not stalling anything and getting the energies out to that ball. So when you do this drill, try not to slide. Try to feel like you rotate and side bend with your body and rotate and flick that club with your hands really into it's hitting my belt you can hear this right on my waist and then we're going to apply those ideas to shots to try and get the same feelings into our impact and you're going to find that the strikes severely crisp up and the distances will start to increase without you feeling like you're swinging at it like a crazy person and the reason i say that if i don't do this action i have to swing like a crazy person to get any level of speed in there to play how i want to play subject to what i think i should be doing to my physique have how far i should be hitting the ball so if i don't fire and everything just moves quickly like i really have to start flailing at it and there are simpler ways of getting more power onto the ball, this being one of them. This video here showing people how to hit it up to 15 yards further by changing how they order their backswing. This one's on fire at the minute.